Hi everyone and welcome to WEBN's Comics Come Home Special. I'm here live in studio with comedian, actor, and local legend, Lenny Clark. Thanks, Jill. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm very excited. I mean, I, you, you had to talk me in to get to where I was going, but it was great. Uh, very efficient of you. Thank you. Of course, of course. I'm always happy to help out a fellow Bostonian here. Lenny, let's be real here, all right? You're a Boston icon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're born and raised, Cambridge, Mass. Yeah graduate of UMass Boston, and probably kicked out of one too many Boston bars. Oh, absolutely. You were actually in a bar a couple weeks ago, right? Yes, I was. I was in a bar doing the Jimmy Kimmel show. Yes, you were. Uh, Cask and Flagon over at, the, at, at Fenway Park, yeah. Bummer about the Sox this year, though, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I love the Sox. You know, I, I, was, I was in L.A. the other day, and uh, this Yankee fan was going, well, you didn't have a good year. I go, it doesn't matter. We beat you. We beat. I know you got 27, 28 world titles. Yeah, so we just won a one. I still hate the Yankees, you know, but what are you going to do? You know, that's a rite of passage. Uh, it is. Hating the Yankees, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a rite of passage. And I guess speaking of the Yankees, you've been in some of my favorite movies, like Fever Pitch. Oh, I love that movie. With oh. Jimmy Fallon. He, he, who, Jimmy Fallon, who was going to be at Comics Come Home. That's right. And he's, uh, he, what a nice guy. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I met him, I met him, I think, doing stand-up years ago. And then I met him at Comics Come Home, and it was just bang. And then he put me on the show, you know, the Tonight Show. And um, he, he's a wonderful, great heart, and he's terrific to his fans. And then you've also been in Here Comes the Boom. Oh, Kevin James. He, you know, I, I really like Kevin. I met Kevin doing stand-up, of course. And I said, Kevin, can you throw me in the movie? And he, he was nice enough to do that. So, and it was, a, it was a blast, you know. I'm glad to hear that. How about Henry, Henry Winkler? Oh, Henry Winkler, I love. He was, he was just the nicest, sweetest guy. And, he told me a story at lunch. I said to him, Henry, can you go anywhere without being noticed? You know, because, I mean, he's still the fonts, you know. I mean, he's multi-talented, does so many different things, but he's, the fonts was the thing that made him. So he said, Lenny, I took my wife and we went to Italy. And we were, we were for late dinner, we're walking, strolling down one of those alleys in, in Italy, and this car came screaming up behind us. And, it, and we jumped to the side. That's how they drive over there. And he slams on the brakes and he backs up and rolls the window down. I'm thinking we're going to get kidnapped. He goes, Fonzie, hey. <laughs> I said, oh, my God, at 4 in the morning in Italy. You know? Yeah, so he, he wonderful guy, brilliant, too. Can't go anywhere without being recognized, right? right? Do you ever have a problem with that? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Some, well, Dennis Leary and his wife took me and my wife to see the Rolling Stones. And Dennis had a hat on and glasses and, you know, I'm walking behind them, and we're going up to the front row seats for the Stones. And we go, Lenny, Lenny! And I'm going, Dennis Lenny, Dennis, Dennis! Dennis turns around and goes, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, always hyping up your friends, oh, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. And if I'm not mistaken, you met Dennis Leary on the set of Rescue Me, right? No, I met Dennis when he came with another friend of his who, went to Emerson, I think, uh, Lauren Dombrowski, if oh, my mistakes, she went there. And they came into a club, Dennis walked in with these two twins, and they're both beautiful. And I said, who's this guy? You know, I said, I gotta, I gotta meet those girls. So he said, hey man, can I go? Yeah, you're on next. So while he went on, I spent the rest of the time talking with the girls, wasn't even watching his act. And uh, he said, how'd I do it? She come back next week and bring the girls. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he was fearless. That's what he got on stage, and he wasn't. He had no plan to act. He was. He was just. He got up there. He wanted to do it. He did it. You know, he's one of those guys. He never forgot his friends. You know, and he was so good to me. There's a story I, I like to tell about him, that he hates. He calls me. I said, Len, you know, I, I said, I'm sorry, but my, my mother loved Dennis, and he loved my mother. And he said, if you need anything, you know, just give me a call. And I said, I, I appreciate that. Everyone says that, but he meant it, you know. Uh, five minutes later, I come back, he goes, hey, I can't say what he's told me, but he said, hey, you don't even have a job. How are you going to bury your mother? I said, well, I'm going to go to the bank and get out a loan. He goes, no, 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 no. He goes, I'll bury your mother under one condition. I said, what's that? We don't do it cheap. I said, okay. So we got, we went to look at 
uh, coffins. It's something you don't want to do, but when you do it, they go from like five hundred dollars to fifty thousand. You know, and Dad's go, well, let's go to the top end. I go, no, 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 my mother would kill me. Go, we'll get something in the middle. So we got like a twenty-five thousand dollar coffin. That's still a lot of money. And then we got flowers, more flowers than you ever seen. And then we had uh, the fire department come with the hook and ladders. You know, we draw, and a police escort on motorcycles. First time I've ever been in a car following the cops. You know, not well, not, not, just me. <laughs> not being so, followed by the cops. Exactly. So the the, the 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 wake was amazing. The funeral was incredible. And this was all put on by Dennis. Yeah, yeah. Dennis was put paid for all, so much of everything. You know, and uh, we took our wives to dinner, and my wife kept hitting me. No, no. I said, okay. So I said, Ann. I said, you and Dennis were so kind. I said, I want, I want to give, we want to give you this to just say thank you for doing something so nice. And the end, there's up the check. And she, she goes, Dennis is where he is because of the help you gave him in the beginning. And I go, what a beautiful thing. I said, I only wish my father was alive so he could bury him too. <laughs> and my <laughs> wife slaps me in the head. And, uh, yeah, but that, he, he's so generous and so giving and a better, fr a better friend you couldn't ask for. You don't forget people who are really nice to you. And you don't forget the people who are really mean to you either. You, know? you just try to do so well that you can look and go, yeah, you should have been nice to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we kind of touched on your career a little bit, but what inspired you to go into comedy? Oh, you know, uh, I was in uh, UMass, Boston, and uh, once again, I was in the cafeteria to cracking jokes and the, and someone says you should be a comedian I said comedian me I, said, I, I, I don't know anything about it he goes come to my house tonight so we got a couple of six packs and we went to George McDonald's house in South Boston and we watched a Woody Allen uh, video of Woody Allen doing stand-up and I didn't even know Woody Allen was a stand-up I knew he was a great director great actor big fan of Woody Allen's you know before yeah but but yeah. anyway so what I did was I, I went to a comedy club and I went in and I stole Woody Allen's ideas and made it my own and I got a standing ovation. At the end of the night, a little old man comes back to, to the dressing room and goes, Mr. Clark? I said, yeah. He goes, great show. And I go, thank you. But you shouldn't steal Woody Allen's material. I go, Woody who? Screw you. Get out of here. And I went, oh my God, I'm busted. And I never took anyone's material ever again. And I worked hard and I bombed and I bombed. And I, but I wouldn't give up. Because I saw the, the, what a standing ovation could do for you, you know, and I said, oh, my God, this is the second greatest feeling in the world. So I did it and worked at it and worked at it, and, uh, you know, 49 years later, here we are. And so speaking of comedy and laughter, joy, uh, coming up soon is Comics Come Home, which, as you know, is the longest-running comedy fundraiser in the nation. Yeah, it's it's raised I think fourteen million dollars or more, and uh, it's it's so great <clears throat> to see where the money goes. You know, a lot of these organizations I shouldn't say a lot, but some some organizations you donate, and for every dollar you donate, ten percent goes to what you're trying to get done. Ninety percent is executive. To, this is like woo. It's 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 well, you can see. And unfortunately, I got to use the Neely House, where a lot of the money goes to, and that's for people who are suffering cancer and are getting treatments. And my wife, God love her, she had uh, breast cancer, and I was staying at hotels, and the hotels in this town are very expensive, and it was really running up a lot of money. And Camp said to me, well, why don't you stay at one of the places you helped build? So I went over there, and I couldn't believe we stayed there for like 14 days while my wife went through uh, chemotherapy and radiation. I mean, and it was so nice. Every night I was cooking, and they have two kitchens and a, a film room and laundromat and beautiful bedrooms. And so I'm cooking, and people would come in, are you the chef? And I went, yes, I am. <laughs> and I would make the meals. And they go, the chef there was wonderful. <laughs> We don't have a chef. A guy named Lenny. She goes, "Oh my God, what are you guys?" So yeah, I mean, to have people be able to stay with their families at one of the lowest points of their life, it's amazing. Plus, a lot of the money is spent on research and development to try and get a cure for cancer, and uh, that's why it, it's so important that we do this show because we started 
at the Orpheum Theater. Then we got so big we moved to the BU Theater. And now we're at the Garden. I mean, and for a local kid to be playing at the Boston Garden, it, it still blows my mind. And for those of you who haven't got tickets, please get your tickets uh, because it's going to be an event you won't believe. We have Jimmy Fallon, uh, Carolyn Plummer, who's this girl so deservedly. Dennis has given her a big break. This is great. And then I don't know, uh, of course, Bobby Kelly. Um, Christopher DiStefano. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love Christopher yeah. Oh, he's DiStefano. He's awesome. Uh, and then there's uh, some other people. I don't know. John them. Mulaney. Oh, Mulaney. He, I can't believe how <laughs> funny that guy is. And uh, you know, Roy Wood Jr. Oh, Roy Wood, yeah, another funny yeah. guy. Thank you, because I don't know all the names. I barely know my name now. <laughs> After the stroke, I forget a lot of stuff. That's okay. That's okay. We did have to help you get here today, you know. Yes, <laughs> I know. But, but I left early, which is always good. That's so good. If you if you if you're gonna do comedy, be early. It's better to be three hours early than one minute late. You know. Amen. That's so true. Yeah. And this is the first year back since the pandemic, right? Right. So what does it mean to you to be bringing that joy and laughter back to the city of Boston again? On the way in here, when I was walking back from the cigar shop, uh, people said, Lenny, are you doing comics? Come home. I said, yeah, we're back again. He goes, I go every year. And I go, I'll see you on uh, November 12th. 12th. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just show up. Yeah, yeah They I just show give up. you the time, uh, yeah, and you're like, I'm yeah, there. I'm yeah, at the garden. Yeah. <laughs> And there'll probably be special guests because Dennis always, Dennis, you know, he doesn't go on tour a lot anymore, but this, I mean, he prepares. He prepares for it, you know. I mean, it looks like he's just coming out winging it, but he doesn't do it, but that makes him a pro. And he always, he brings in special guests. Like one night we had John Mayer. You know, John Mayer comes down, and I'm standing next to John Mayer. I go, how cool is this? You know, and he's playing guitar. It was one. And, there's, you never know who he's going to have. Yeah. How does he get all these guests? Big, he's Dennis. He's Dennis. He's Dennis. You know, that's, a, a, that's a, a Emerson alum. Who doesn't want to know him? Go Lions, you right? Go Lions, yeah. <laughs> and so obviously you'll be performing here yes. at Comics Come Home yeah. on November 12th. Yes, yes, yes. Starts at 8 p.m., but, you know, a lot of us can't wait. So do you have any spoilers for us, any teasers? Well... My act will be all new, as it is every time I get on stage, because I can't remember. But he really puts a lot of work into it, and it'll be probably a, uh, a continuation from when we did it last, what's gone through, what he's gone through, and there'll be music and, you know, his, his band. And uh, it, 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 it's, a, it's a blast. Everyone's going to have fun. Well, Lenny, thank you so much for joining me Jillian, today. thanks for having me. And, and to promote this, because... We really, want, we really want to find a cure to end cancer. I mean, all the money we're spending on everything else, why don't we focus you know, on, on cancer and let's get that out of the way and then we can do other things. You can catch Lenny's performance live at Comics Come Home on November 12th at TD Garden or as Lenny calls it, The Garden. The Garden! <laughs> He'll be joined by fellow comedians like Dennis Leary, Jimmy Fallon, John Mulaney, and so many more. As Lenny said, he'll be adding more comics to the show. Yep. Tickets are on sale now. 100% of the proceeds go directly to the Cam Neely Foundation. So be sure to check out their website and follow them on social media for the latest updates. Anything to add, Lenny? Other than I'm so proud of you being in your senior year now. And I think everyone I've ever met from Emerson, really nice people. Maybe that's why I didn't get in. But I wish you all the best. And thank you, Emerson. Thank you and thank you. Thank you, Lenny. My pleasure.